Hello, Descendants. Typically, there's a hotfix um, patch notes that we usually read on stream, but even though it is Thursday, we do not have any. But First Descendant did provide a um, second update for the Season 1 Invasion, so let's go ahead and watch it, and then we'll do a little breakdown. I'll dissolve you all. We have no name, age, gender, or ego. So let's go ahead and get at the beginning of this video and we'll see you. There's the ultimate Freena right there. So this is her look right here in case you have not seen it right here. We go into a little bit of her kit using her fourth ability, first ability. Right there, yeah. There you go, and for third, and all that. Now, with October 10th as advertised, there's going to be a story like what we did with Bunny. Uh, there was a backstory of just who, how Bunny became to be Bunny as she is. Now, this is a quest line to figure out what on well, the backstory of Freyna. We have no name, age gender or ego now i'm not sure if this is going to showcase of what you had to fight in the story i'm going to assume so because it's in the next segment but there you go so i was looking like if we were doing outposts and then reactors And then doing uh, Cooper Mining. Now, Deathstalker. This is the new Intercept uh, Colossus that's coming in. And I'm very looking forward to this one. First of all, very cool uh, look to it. Now, I've been telling people that if you haven't noticed this, this they showcase it in the trailer. Uh, so, Pyromaniac, he has his infamous fire chains that he just does in low AOE and all that. Now, this Colossus is toxic based and those are pretty much toxic chains or whatever you want to call it, but it's pretty much the same mechanic as uh, Pyromaniac, which is crazy. So you can see here at the very bottom right here, how it just starts coming out right there. See, Just boom, like that. So you had to dodge that. And looks like there's crits on the face by standard and then chest right here. As you saw, they're just finishing up there. We have those annoying ads for here. Now, this is something interesting I noticed right here. 
Um, we'll go a little bit. Now here, these skulls. I wonder if this is the rage mechanic that you have to shoot these skulls or if this is part of the fight. But if you notice, Haley is actually shooting these skulls to um, make them disappear. Like that. Which is interesting. So I'm not sure if that is a rage mechanic or if that's just part of the, like, you have to jump between chains, but also watch out for skulls. Yeah, it's going to be a little bit of a crazy fight. And opens up. So I wonder if this scene right here is actually uh, in the frame of story and will follow uh, how it came to be. That, that's my guess, but I wonder to see if we might be able to see this cutscene. Now, 400% difficulty. Oops, why did we go here? I'm not sure why we jumped so far. Okay. 400% difficulty. Now, uh, right now we are at 250% difficulty, which is hard mode. Now, this one is even more difficult, 400. Now, what makes this really fun is that when you complete them, you'll get tokens for ETA-0, which is a vendor for getting uh, blueprints for weapons and stuff. But the thing I'm looking forward to is mob density. If you look here, this is just the starting area of this mission, and there's a lot more ads, as you see here. There's so many more ads, they hit harder. But the thing is, they are they want to just overwhelm you with ads, which is really cool. So just slowly making their way to the end. Now, if you notice here, they also notice that if not just one, but two bosses at the end. So you have to fight two of these frost guys that will frost cage you and all that. So you not have to deal with one, you have to deal with two, which I think is going to be fun. <laughs> so you have to take down hordes of enemies, lots of lots of guys. And now we're going to the holiday skin. So I'm not sure who that is. I'm thinking that might be Luna. Could be wrong. There we go. Viasa, I'm guessing. And then we got some new skins right here. Some people are saying that's Haley and a bunny but we'll have to see now I wonder if these are going to be like what they did last time where um it's like female oriented skins like the nun skin where you can just put these on i wonder if these will be like not specific to a descendant but like a gender focused now this emote is cool is that it's like a two-man one right here and it like sucks you into the coffin right here you see I don't think it teleports you out. I think it just changes. Uh, we'll have to see what that emote is, but it looks interesting. And all October 10th, which is a week from today. Thanks for watching and have a good rest of your day.